Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limited Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to stream MP3 audio straight into your application. Now I already have my project set up and I have a simple example on the iOS simulator. It's very simple to how we did the streaming the radio. It is an um, MP3 uploaded to a site and all it is you just get the link and you open it within the web view and it plays in the app. So if we press our play button here it should load up on our little round web view there and it loads up and starts playing. So this audio has been uploaded to the Geeklem website so we'll be using the link from there. So already my project set up it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Stream MP3 for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we need to do is add the outlet and the action for our web view and the button. Now as we're streaming MP3 and we're loading the audio within the web view, it requires no frameworks at all. Well, just like the um, other tutorials where we play video or play sound files where we have to add frameworks, because it's all going through the internet and through the web view, no framework is needed at all. So just after the UI view controller, we do space bracket enter. We'll add the outlet for our web view, which is IB outlet space UI web view space asterisk, and I'll simply name it web view, nice and simple. And then end up with a semicolon. After the final bracket there, we do dash bracket IB action, and we'll simply name it play. End up with a semicolon again. Once we've done that, we can save it jump straight into our viewcontroller.m where we'll start adding the code to enable us to play our mp3 link in our web view. So we start by typing the action button, so we named it play and then at the end do space bracket and enter. So we'll start by creating our string for our label to be placed into it. So we do capital ns string space asterisk and I'll name it stream space equals space that symbol two quotation marks and anyway semicolon now pretty much similar code into our streaming radio the only thing that's different is we change the link within our NS string to enable us to change the audio file so I've uploaded a um, mp3 clip to our to the um, Geeklane website, so all we have to do is http colon bracket bracket www.geekylemon.com forward slash and the file is called jungle bed. Now this is some, I don't know, some crickets playing like a jungle kind of feeling kind of sound mp3, so we do dot mp3. Now that is the link to the um, audio file on Geeky Lemon. so once we've done that, after that we do enter then we create an nsurl space asterisk, simply name it url space equals space bracket nsurl again space url with string and we enter the name of our string which we've called it stream and then with a bracket semicolon and then new line ns url request space asterisk we'll name it url request space equals space bracket ns url request space request with url simply name it url so so far we have our string now once we've created our ns url we've named it url and we've loaded our string within our nsurl and now we created a nsurl requesting the url the nsurl which we named the url so we do a new line there and we do bracket web view as we need our the web view to load our url request so just type out this quickly and I'll quickly run through it of how far we've got now so sorry so load request and then there we do URL request bracket semicolon. So basically what's happening in our web view is loading our URL request. And our URL request is loading our URL 
which our URL is loading the string of our stream, which our stream is the highlighted here, our link to our MP3 file online. So once we've done that, we can save it, jump straight into our viewcontroller.xib. We simply drag in the button. I simply name it play, stretch it out, make it look nice and pretty. And then we'll scroll down, look for our web view, just throw that in there. Now, a bit of OCD, got to make sure everything's all linked up and looking nice and kind of straight lines. So once we've done that, we go to our files owner. We link our web view outlet up to our web view. Our play action button up to our brand deck button. Now simply do touch up inside. Nice easy um, action there. So once we've done that, we can jump straight into building it and run. And now, like I said before, it runs just like our streaming our radio, just different link. And so once we get into something now, press our button, loads the URL request up into our web view and plays it directly in our app. Now you just have to make sure that you do need internet connection for this anyway. So we hit play and it should start loading there and once it does, it starts playing our sound clip. So a nice little jungle theme going there. So once you're finished, press done, disappears. And just like on our radio one, in the NS um, log here, it tells us the time and date we started playing our um, well, streaming our MP3 and the time and date when we finished streaming our MP3. So that's simply how you stream MP3 audio files within your applications. So I hope this helps in any of your apps or projects at the moment. Make sure you like and favourite the video as it really does uh, help us out and you know gives us a wider audience. If you haven't, make sure you subscribe and also go check out all our apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.